Alan, we've just seen the conclusion of uh, our para contingent here at Leamington Spa. The fourth place finish for our VI mixed pairs, but two silvers in the other disciplines. You must be um, wrapped with the way that things transpired here um, for our para team. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've only been in the role, I think, seven, eight months. Um, time flies when you're having fun. Um, but we've done a lot of work with the athletes and we're you know, really lucky to have the talent that we have in the team. Um, they've done really well to come and adjust in, in the conditions over here. Two silver medals and very, very nearly a bronze to add to that. Um, but I think most importantly for me, it's about not necessarily the outcome, it's about the performances and the camaraderie. And I think we've got a really solid base to build from for the future, which is exciting. Yeah, definitely. We heard uh, Cheryl Linfield speaking about it the other day, just about um, you know, setting the example to get more people involved in para bowls. And um, I think all of the, um, the, the athletes and the directors and everyone involved in this team can walk away saying that they've done that um, for, for para bowls moving forward in Australia. And that was always the goal, to inspire the next generation. Um, and that's one of the things that we should celebrate about our sport and be proud of, the fact that it is so inclusive and it en enables people, whatever age, and whatever ability to come and enjoy the sport and regardless of their motivation um, but for those that are motivated by competition and putting on the green and gold you know there's opportunities in both Commonwealth Games and World Championships to be part of the Parajakari family so really urge people to get out and have a go and contact us at Bowls Australia if they want to find out where their nearest club is or how they can get involved from a talent ID perspective um, because the future is very bright. And it's a four-year cycle before we're in Victoria back in Australia for the next Commonwealth Games. We heard Helen only started playing bowls three years ago, so there could be people out there right now that haven't picked up a bowl before and could definitely feature in the green and gold in, uh, at Bendigo in a couple of years' time. Yeah, absolutely. And within the para space, um, it's actually quite common that um, sports people transfer from one sport to another. Um, so we'd be really interested to hear from any people that are coming up for retirement in their other sports and want to get into bowls. Um, we'd be very happy to hear from you and um, you know give you some coaching and see if you love our sport as much as we do. I guess just finally your final thoughts on uh, the team here and um, I guess yeah like we said before you just must be super proud of the work that you've done with them and the efforts that they've put out here they've um, certainly can leave with their heads held high. They, they certainly can and, and us as a whole squad um, really proud you know this has been our most successful games um, to date on international soil um, and that's something that we're all very proud of all of our athletes um, whether they come home with a medal or not the way that they've conducted themselves the way that they've stuck together and very much shown all the values of the jackeries 24 7 family great thank you very much Alan, and all the best thank you